You know what happened in 1953, Miss? No, what happened in 1953? That's when the Hudson that's when the Hudson Hornet won the Piston Cup. <laughs> if anybody know who the Hudson Hornet is, <laughs> drop a comment. <laughs> hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you for joining us again on another episode of JL Jupiter TV. Say what's up, Mizzy. What up, what up, what up? Yeah, we currently here. This is um currently in South Philly right now. I believe this is 15th and Mole, hey, but mainly on mainly on West Rittner. Right yeah, 15th and West Rittner. Shout out to all my people from South Philly that's, uh, you know, that rep 14th Street like me. <laughs> shout out to my fourth street. Shout out to all the folks on 14th Street. But uh, we're currently here at a place called Cash's Bakery. Uh, they're known for their pizza pie you know what I mean and the one thing I'm really curious about is their tomato pie it is pizza week so we might as well do some pizza episodes for y'all and I can always go for a good tomato pie I didn't have a tomato pie till later on in life and I didn't realize how good it was I'm like tomato pie with no cheese like what is that about but yo it is it is amazing too so I think this might be my first time having a tomato pie, Chief. Uh, I always thought about pizza as cheese. It's, it's like refreshing, but it's like that pizza flavor and the sauce. You can taste the sauce more. Listen. Yo, it's, it's going to be crazy, man. Listen, so. I was a Ninja Turtle fanatic, Chief. And yeah, you know, when here. I see Ninja Turtles eating that cheesy pizza, it, it made me want pizza even more. So That's you know right. what time it is, man. But I'm going to try this tomato pie out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going you know, to get my review on That's it. That's right, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Kick back. Crack open a bottle of Tangeray. <laughs> Let's go get some cash. This tomato pie. really dope man I'm loving the uh, the vibes here everything here is original from what I've been told it's like they're like four generations in this is the original location and it's pronounced Cassius not Casillas how you said it in the car Madison I ain't seen no Casillas <laughs> you, you know, said Casillas no luckily I heard her on the phone she's like Cassius I'm like oh that's how you say it so it's called Cassius uh, everything here is original man the one cool thing is you guys can actually see it when you walk in here they got the original um, oven that they built it's a long pole that uh they use to pretty much put the pizza into the oven like it's literally like you can see you can see the history into that too so that's awesome man and right here they got everything laid out spread out too they you know we interested in the tomato pie spinach and broccoli pie they got pizzazz pie they pizzazz. got red with cheese they don't get no more south phillier than this man because when we first walked in it was like i felt like i was about to be a made man that's how i felt <laughs> it's actually really reasonable they too got the tomato pie slice is only dollar 40 11 25 for the box they, they got, got a cannolis yeah. i'm talking man talk that thing right Word. now i'm sitting looking at everything they got cannolis man listen it's a bakery too they got bread here all types of bread bread all types of bread. So if you want a low, like so if you want a low carb diet, do not visit. Because <laughs> over here we eat. And we're mainly interested in the tomato pie, but I might try out that double cheesesteak pizza too. So man, you tripping? Because I got a couple of them I got in mind to try out, man. You know. Yeah, we know you greedy. Pop tripping, man. He want me after my bike back. He, he pop tripping. He want me after some tomato pie. Pop's over. tripping. He told you to change that damn tire already. <laughs> Open it up, man. Alright, man, it's just like... Mm. Love it. Love it, love it. Fresh, fresh tomato pie right out the oven. You want an end piece? Yeah. 
I, I kind of want this piece that was next to yours. You want for the middle? Yeah, I guess, I guess you could say this is the middle, John. Tomato pie, right here. Look at mm -hmm. this. You ready? Yes, Mrs. Sir. First experience, man. Tell me what you think, all right? Ready? Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to y'all. Make sure you subscribe. Let's okay. go. Okay, I can do that. Mm -hmm. It's not like normal pizza. It's light. Mm -hmm. We get that nice fresh dough in there. It's not like you tasting the cheese, because some pizza you tasting the cheese for. I'm not tasting the cheese for this. It's like you don't have to taste the cheese. Mm. Mm. Little, little garlic and some, some hot peppers. True. Mm. So keep in mind, we're actually eating on the counter right now. Mm -hmm. It's not really an eating spot. You just take it to go. But since uh, it's like during their um, downtime right now, we thought we set up shop. Mm hmm. Yeah. So. Stop, drop, shut down, open up shop. Mm. Tastes so pure. I picked it in because I'm a crust eater, man. I like the crust. Mm. People that are lactose probably would dig this. I like this when I'm like. I kind of want to, uh, well, flavor flavor wise, I love tomato pies. Normally, when I order to pizza pies, my wife can attest to this too. I always say light cheese. Mm. But give me a tomato pie from the neighborhood like this. Thanks. Mm. Throw it again. I'm going to get that one. It's a crust on there. I like crust. Why does it taste so light and pure? It is light. I don't even feel full. Who's calling me right now? Mmm. What you think? I like it. Be honest, man. I like it. From a cheese eater. A you cheese think? eater, I like it. It's a good taste. I will switch. actually eat this. Good switch. Even up, though man. I still do prefer my cheese, but I like this. I don't mind cheese, but. <clears throat> I love a tomato pie, man. I'll put my cheese on this. So what is it about your tomato pie? If your dough ain't right, mm -hmm. and the sauce ain't right, two simple ingredients, if that ain't right, it ain't right. And this is right right here. The, the sauce and the dough. This is right. Mm. What were we saying when the if the Eagles were playing or on, so on game day? 60 to 80 of these a day, even more of, the just the of just a tomato pie. pie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I believe it. I believe it because this is really good quality tomato pie. You can taste mm -hmm. you can taste the history in this too. You know what I mean? It tastes like South Philly tomato pie for real. Mm -hmm. Many people don't know that every Sunday we have our roast pork sandwiches. We only do it on Sunday, and they are. Mm -hmm. You gotta come in on Sunday. You hear that? Man, you gonna bring us the wrong day, man. <laughs> Little tidbit. Every Sunday, roast pork Sunday, roast pork sandwich Sunday. So keep that in mind. You know, you know what it is? Well, the more you eat this, the more. It's addicting, man. I find myself just wondering. You can actually end up eating like six of these and not even know it. Straight up. Mmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. The more I eat it, the more I'm appreciating the tomato pie. <laughs> Yeah, but they got other stuff too if you guys want. I'm still a Ninja Turtle though. <laughs> Double cheesesteak pizza. The one guy that was in here said we got to try, I guess next time, the pizzazz. You know what I mean? They got spinach and broccoli too. Oh, I so. But I love me a pure tomato pie just like this right here. I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm in love a little bit, you know. It's nice and fresh, refreshing. That's <sighs> the part. You just want a meal that's refreshing. This is refreshing. I don't feel right, like it's holding me down. All right, cheese. I'm going to go in for one more, all right? That's three. I'm going to go in for one more. Why not just try the other stuff while we're here? Why not? Why not, you know? I already had three of the tomato pies. So it looks like we have three more kinds. We got the uh, spinach and broccoli, mm -hmm. cheese steak, and the pizzazz, which is American cheese. This one's a pizzazz right here. American cheese. Banana peppers and tomatoes. Tomato. I actually wouldn't mind trying that. Yeah, let's go that one. Let's, let's, let's go to the bottom of the, the, the pot. Actually, let's do the cheesesteak since it's right there. Mm. 
Something must be like somebody. Well, what are you doing, Mazzy? The whole thing. No, let's go. So we're gonna eat the the, the, the double cheesesteak slice yeah, next. Girl, I with the other it's gonna be a lot of pizza today. Go ahead, miss. Lead it off. You know how many times I Yes. Lord. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, I, I, I said, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. I had people tell me all the time. Ooh. Mm -hmm. my wow. Friend, my friend from Australia. She's like, you look just like my cousin. It's scary. This other wow. girl's like, you look mm. just like my boyfriend's. So let's talk about how good this freaking cheesesteak pizza is. So this is amazing, too. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Mm. Yeah, um, definitely. We're going to have, um, we'll have two cheese. Hey, Odin. Okay. What happened all the farm when we <laughs> <laughs> Do a box, I guess. <laughs> they have that same great dough, but imagine like American cheese. American cheese. Okay. The cheese steak on here. Excellent, excellent. Mm. Definitely recommend this one too. Pork pizzazz. A dollar sixty a slice. You can't beat that, man. Can't beat that with a baseball bat. That's a neighborhood gem for real. I'm almost at the edge of my limits. That's four slices I just had. You want to go for that pizzazz? You want to just split one? Let's do the pizzazz. We want to split it or we going we gonna just do the whole thing? Let's split it in half. Yeah, man. That's a lot of slices Crowd today, man. Wild for that, man. I'm with you. So this pizzazz actually has American cheese, slice of tomato, and banana peppers. Cheers. 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 Let's go. I'm refreshing. I love peppers, so you know me. Mm. I already knew this was gonna be a hit. Oh, this is refreshing. Mm. Wow. The tomato pie is refreshing. With the pizzazz, it's fresh, refreshing too. American mm. cheese just goes so well with, with their dough. You know what I mean? Like, it's delicious. You know what I think it is? What? I think what makes it refreshing is when you eat a pizza with something that you would normally eat with a pizza with. So, the tomato pie didn't have cheese on it. This one don't have sauce on it. I think they, I, I think it's gotta be olive oil or something here too. But can it be the crust that's making? I it think good? it's the bread. You gotta have good dough. You gotta have good bread. John, <laughs> you had to make the piece last time. So I this want is, you to have it. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was like, like the mm -hmm. spinach right here. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Ah, go, 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 go. Oh, pop out of silver, man. Mmm. Boo -boo. <gasps> like a white sauce. Lovely. Mm. <clears throat> it's all about that dough, man. All about the dough. What about that dough, man? Gotta get that dough, man. What about that dough? The dough. Gotta get that dough, man. Refreshing, man. Mm. Refreshing conversation for the mind. As we lay. <laughs> People gonna ask, yo, where Prime Mega? Prime Mega would have loved something like this. Where's Prime Mega, miss? I think he started his ant farm today. Oh, what? Right? Mm hmm. He's been talking about raising, like, raising his ant farm for the longest. Wow. Right. What's up? I thought I seen him at Cooper River. You did? He was digging the soil. Man, right. what the heck was he doing that for? But, you know, he said he, he the reason why he was working out, because he wanted to get his weight up when he was dealing with the ants. Dang, man. You, you know, know ants can actually pull like 10 times their body weight, so. He thought that he had to get jacked up in order to deal with them. So come to think about it, I think he was growing a beard. He was trying to grow his beard. I think he was, yeah. Yeah, pest out, man. He was putting chair pest stuff on his beard. But we got uh last but not least the cannolis. <clears throat> I ain't gonna tell you what that look like right now. <laughs> We're gonna break this thing. <clears throat> <laughs> You're gonna do me dirty like that. Hold on. Where's you Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's delicious. This is my first time having a taco for Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. When I tell you, this is out of this world. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm hmm.
That was good. <laughs> it's good. And it's good. Which one is this one? That's Regular. The ricotta. The ricotta. It has the chocolate chips in it. Alright, I'm gonna try to break this apart. You got you can do it, Chief. You can do it. <laughs> Fumble. Making a mess already. I got it. Ooh. Ready for this? Ready. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to y'all. Let's go. Yeah. I just love cannoli. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm getting that chocolate chip in there. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, how are you? Excellent. We had a late dinner rush. People coming in. Mm. 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 Uh, mm. If you know about cannoli, you know cannoli. Uh, two spinach. Mm. Thank you. That was excellent. Anything else? Uh, I don't think. I'm surprised you ain't licking that box right now. <laughs> don't, don't be, you you, no. you should have ate that like the Cookie Monster. You know how the Cookie Monster eats no, it and all the cookie just flies out. I should have did with respuse it. Yo, man, you, you ate that cannoli already? No. <laughs> I didn't tell you to get it on my face. <laughs> yeah, man. <clears throat> so we're going to wrap this video up. Like I said, it's 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 pretty much great neighborhood vibes in here. Hey, how you doing? Make sure you subscribe. Uh, follow this man, Juan huh? Miz. Yeah. See you in the next episode, all right? We're probably going to do like a few more pizza episodes, but this is the one tomato pie I wanted to highlight Let's today. kick it off for tomato week. That's right. Peace. Peace.